You want to reach the next level or even maybe achieve the top level gameplay in your competitive game? What separates you and me from top level players? Is it that they have more talent than you? Do they exert more effort than you? Do they have better equipment than you? There could be a few of these reasons and possibly many of the reasons why you are not competing at the level you want. So how do we bridge the gap from where we are to where we want to be? Today, we are talking about one tip that will help you become a better player and increase your skill. My name is Greg Gowdy, and welcome to your world of gains. Let's say you are going on a trip to Hawaii, but you live on the East Coast. How are you going to get there? Are you going to drive to California and then fly to Hawaii? Or will you fly from the East Coast and take connecting flights until you get there? What are you taking and what are you planning on doing once you are there? To have a successful trip, you have to know where you are and where you're going and how you are going to get there. There are a lot of things that go into a successful trip. And as you've probably noticed, there are a lot of things that go into being a successful player and reaching a higher level of play. So what is your map to increasing your skill level? That map is goal setting. I know most of you have probably heard, used, or even succeeded with setting goals. So maybe this isn't anything new, but I bet I have one strategy of goal setting that you're not familiar with, so stick with me throughout this whole video and together we'll be able to help you get from where you are onto the path to arrive to where you want to be. Why would setting goals help you climb in the ranks? Well, just like the example of going to Hawaii, to get to where you want to go, you have to also know where you are and how you're going to get there. So the way we are going to set goals today to help you and also myself continue to improve is first by recognizing where we sit currently. And write this down and put it somewhere you will see it often so you will be reminded of your goals. For example, I use these strategies that I will share with you to break out of platinum where I was stuck for a few seasons to get to diamond. And I'm also using these same strategies to continue to climb until I reach my goal of masters. So after you have recognized where you are, decide what your goal is. For some, that will be to get to the next rank, such as Platinum or Masters or Grandmasters. And maybe for some of you, that goal is to become a professional player, which is awesome. I believe you can do it, and I also believe this way of setting goals will help you achieve your goal. So write your goal down. You can write it simply by stating a Grandmaster player, or you can put it in the positive present tense for example, I am a Grandmaster player. The next step is to decide when you want to achieve this. For some of you, you may be familiar with these steps so far. This strategy is very similar to the SMART goal setting system, meaning specific, measurable, attainable, reachable, and timely. But again, there's an extra bonus tip that will help you even more. For example, let us say you are a diamond player and you want to become a grandmaster player. This goal is definitely measurable and attainable, but when do you want to achieve it by? That is at most 1000 SR gap to make up. So depending on how quickly you want to achieve this goal and how much effort you're willing to put forth to achieve this goal on a consistent basis should have a big impact on when you want to achieve it. So let's continue the example and say you want to achieve it by August 15th of 2019. That is over four months or 19 weeks away, which means you would need to gain about 52 SR each week. That's totally doable, right? All right, so you have identified where you are and where you want to go. Now let us talk about how you are going to get there. These are your action steps, things you are committing yourself to do on a consistent basis to improve. So for instance, to help me get to diamond, my action items were to play free for all to improve my aiming, watch my VODs to learn what I could do better and learn from my mistakes, and then obviously play competitive because that is the only place where I can gain my SR. Another action item that will help you improve is watching players that are better than you and learning from them. Twitch is a great place to watch, but when you watch, try not to focus on the entertaining factor of the Twitch streams, but watch with an educational mindset to learn how to improve yourself. YouTube videos are also a great source to learn tips. Now with these action items, you should be specific on how you are going to apply them. 
How many hours will you spend each day on these items? I would recommend a daily consistency, not a weekly consistency. With the compound effect, two hours a day, five days a week will have a greater impact than say one day a week for 10 hours. So for me, I've decided to play Overwatch for two hours, five days a week. That includes at least 30 minutes of free for all, which I do for warm up and improve my aim, and the rest of the time is spent on competitive gameplay. I do do VOD reviews each week as I work on my YouTube videos, and at night is when I spend time watching streamers to learn. Now you don't have to, nor should you copy my action items. Your goal may be different than mine. My goal is to get to masters, and that may or may not require the same action plan that your goal needs. I may also have to adjust some things down the road if I'm not making progress, and so should you if things stall out at all. But be consistent with your action items. Give it a few weeks, be consistent about it before you try to make any changes. All right, so we've set a specific goal that is measurable and attainable, that is also realistic and timely. We know where we are and where we want to go and what we are going to do to get there. So this last tip is my secret sauce and I believe will take your goal setting to the next level, which is faith. I'm a religious person and I believe in Heavenly Father who loves us all. Maybe you have that same belief or maybe you don't. Maybe you just believe in grace or maybe you believe in the universe or maybe you just believe in yourself and that you have the power within you. Whatever it is that you believe, you must recognize that you need help to get to where you want to go. For some of us that is through prayer and a higher being or force, others it may just mean getting a mentor a teacher or a coach but this last step that I call faith but you can call it grace or power or help or whatever fits your beliefs this step we need to recognize where we are lacking and where we need help why is this such an important step well our minds have unique power to find the things we focus on and truly desire for example stop and look around your room and count all the things that are black ready go All right, now close your eyes and count all the things that were red. See, so you notice what you were focused on. You found all the black things, such as probably your monitor, your chair, your computer, maybe some pants or shirts or something. You, you notice that stuff because that's what you were focused on, but you didn't notice the red things because you weren't focused on it. Your mind focuses on finding what you are searching for. So this step will help us identify what we need help with and through the power of our mind and through faith or grace or through a coach, we will discover what we are looking for. So for myself, in this column, I've written down that I need help improving my aim, positioning, communication, and alt usage. These are the things I pray I can improve at and learn how to improve at. And since I've been seeking for these things, I've been able to find YouTube videos, streamers, and going through my own VOD reviews to help me. The key to this step is to recognize where you need help, write it down, and constantly remind yourself that you need improvement in these areas. And before you know it, things will be led to you that will help you receive what you're looking for. I know this goal setting system will help you achieve what you're looking for. I truly do hope this video will help you and please comment below your favorite tip from this video. One last piece of advice is to forgive yourself when you fail or make a mistake. We all do it and we can all rise from it. The key is to rebound quickly and get right back at it. I have failed these past couple of weeks with not getting my videos out. I've made my own excuses of not doing it, but that didn't help me achieve my goal. So this week, I'm back at it, and it feels good working towards a goal. If you've enjoyed this content, hit that like button. It helps me know if you like the content or not. Don't forget to subscribe so you know when a new video comes up. I will do more videos about achieving your goals, and also videos about self-improvement and improving your gameplay because this channel is focused about you and improving your life and also your gameplay, which are my two passions, is improving myself and improving the things that I'm passionate about. Also, come follow me on Twitch. I stream every Monday and Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern. It would be awesome to hang out with you. Thanks again for watching. Best of luck going after your goals. I do believe in you. Until next time, get after those gains.